Hey guys, what's up? Um, I just wanted to say, like, everybody that are, I guess, pleading the fifth ain't saying shit are literally, like, making me sick. Like, what is your guys' deals, you know? And you know who you are, you know? <laughs> you drop this shit and, oh my god, you guys. Remixes and this dropping and that dropping and... <laughs> Little clues here, little clues there, you know. Like, what the fuck is your guys' deal? You know, you guys are making me sick, dude. I love all you motherfuckers. You know, like, I am just like, what the fuck is going on, you know? How do you think I feel? You know, I love Pac to death. I love Fail to death. I love the Outlaws to death. I love all you motherfuckers, you know? I love you guys so much, and like... I don't know. This makes me sound like I'm some crazy bitch. I know, right? Because nobody talks. No one does nothing. Ain't nobody talking, right? Um, I just, I am like, I feel sick after the shit I've seen the past couple days. So, um, <laughs> between I, you know, Pac saying my name in a few songs and then Fatal doing some shit and some song. He just dropped an album and said some shit with a video. I, I ain't gonna go into it, but you guys know. What the fuck is going on, you guys? Like, seriously, somebody needs to talk. Somebody needs to do something. Because this shit, you know, I'm the one out here getting tortured and shit. Like, literally from head to toe, mind, body, soul, rape, everything. I'm getting tortured from head to toe and I, I have nobody to talk to about it. Nobody. Nobody. And you know what? I just realized I'm talking too loud because my brother is like 10 feet away from me in the same apartment and he could probably hear me. So now, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta fake it 24-7. I gotta go to work and fake it 24-7. Like, everything's peachy. You know, I'm getting mind, body, soul raped. They're talking shit in my head. I'm getting raped. You know, and again, I'm talking too loud, but I gotta, I gotta fake it to my aunt. And I'm getting way too good at faking it because <laughs> everybody thinks that I'm just like, you know, I, that everything's fine. You know, I just fake it. I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. I, I don't talk to nobody. Like, I can't even like, I just, I just fake it. And I'm sick of faking it. I'm so sick of faking it. Like, I go to a store, you know, how they're like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, I'm good. How are you? You know? Right. Do you really want to know who I, how I am? No. You, no. <laughs> I should just be like, um, do you want to hear it? Like, no. I ain't doing good. How you doing? I ain't doing good. But no. I fake it 24-7 and you guys are just like, I don't know. But you guys, what the fuck is going on with you guys? Like, seriously. Like, do I have to say your name? I don't know, dude. You guys are making me sick, dude. Somebody's got to do something, like, quick. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Whatever. I'll probably be dead soon anyways. <sighs> I feel like they're killing me, so. It don't matter. No one gives a shit anyways, you know? Fuck them, you know? Fuck everybody. Like, fuck all you motherfuckers then. You know? Is this just some, like, some, like, game to get to each other or some shit? I don't know, but you guys, I don't know. Um, I'm sick of faking it like everything's okay with my family. I gotta fake it. And I sit next to my grandma. I'm like, oh my god, I'm getting blasted right now. That means she's getting blasted too. You know what I mean? Like, it's so fucked up. I go to dinner at my grandma's house and I have to worry about my mom and her getting blasted because I'm getting blasted. And I know everybody around me is getting blasted. I live with my brother. He's getting blasted and fucked with. He doesn't even know it. He's not awake at all. He has no idea what any of this shit is. What's being like? None of it. And you guys are just like, oh, I'm just gonna play games. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop shit and do this. Drop some clues and hints and, you know, not come out and, you know, what? All right, whatever. Maybe it's because I'm a white girl. I ain't, I ain't hood enough for ya. I don't know. That's what I feel like, dude. I don't know. You guys are fucking... Well, that's what I feel like with one of you motherfuckers, but whatever, dude. I'm so... Like, you guys... What the fuck? You know? Like, none of you guys... Like, if you... If you guys are alive, you know, you should really do something. Like, 
I'm not the only one. I'm a woman and I'm getting so tortured. Like you would not last a day in my shoes. And trust me, I learned the hard way. I was in and out of the hospital so many times over the years, so many times before I finally found out and finally realized, you know, and got the info that I'm a targeted individual. And it was them torturing me. It wasn't the devil the whole time. It was them. It wasn't spirits the whole time. It was them, you know. They would blast my legs. I'd feel shit crawling up my legs. And I feel it all the time now. You know, I know all of it now. All the shit that I could have known years ago. Years of torture in and out of the hospital. Being scared to death. Tortured. You know. I, uh. I all know. I know the whole. I know it all now. You know. And I swear to God. They are not going to do that to me again. I am not going to the hospital again. They fuck with me so bad. You know. And. I'm never going in there again. I'm just saying, but now I know that it was them. So I was just, oh my God, I've been terrified for years. <laughs> Nobody knows. Like, oh my God, this one time. Oh my God. There's so many times. You guys have no idea what they've done to me. Um, This one time, like, no, I'm not even going to go into it. I was going to say like, no, nah, never mind. It's too crazy for you. I can't even, no, nah, I'm not going to go into it. Um, but I'm just so thankful now that I know what a targeted individual, what a targeted individual is and what they do to them. And most of the shit that's happened to me over the years is because of them. And they sit back and pretend like they're the devil and they're spirits and they scare me to death. And they, you know, that's what they did. They sit back and get off on it that they're the, they pretend like they're the devil scaring me out of my goddamn mind. Too scared to even go in my own bed, even my, in my own room. You know what I mean? Like, scared to death. You don't want to know what the fuck they did to me. I was driving. I would not go in my room. I would not go. I was driving the streets, scared the fuck out of my mind. They, and they're sitting up there, you know... I, I, I don't know what a target individual is. And when I did see it on, um, Jesse Ventura, is his name Jesse Ventura? I don't know, that gov governor guy. He had some show out, excuse me, and he did an episode about targeted individuals. And, like, they're, like, wearing, like, <laughs> foil helmets and all this shit. And I'm like, oh, my God, those fools are fucking crazy, dude. Like, look at this shit. Like, they're fucking, they're, something's wrong with them, fool. You know, I just, no. <laughs> I thought that shit was crazy. I never, you know, that went in one ear out the other. I didn't even think of that. I, I didn't come in my head at all when I was being tortured. I just thought, like, oh, my God. Like, I could feel shit just all over me. Like, spirits were attacking me. I thought the devil. And I know, I know there was some, some of it was spirits. But I think it was um, because somebody broke into my house. I don't know if you remember me telling you that. But somebody broke into my house and... They bolted a mirror on the back of one of my mirrors. This, like, mirror that's, like, a big mirror. You know, like, it's a full... Like, you look at... You could look at your whole body. Like, it's a full body mirror. Someone broke into my house. And it, like, rotates. Like, you could... I don't know. Whatever. Someone broke into my house. And they bolted some type of mirror on the back of it. And it was a light blue mirror. It was weird. It was something I'd never seen before. They bolted it. And it had little bolts around the whole thing. And they had graffiti down the whole thing, like red paint graffiti down the whole thing. And um, so I know it was, you know, it was also them doing black magic and, and doing rituals and calling on the devil, making him come through the little portal mirror that they did and all the little reptilians and all that. I know there's reptilians that are physical and I know there's some that are not physical, you know, so they were doing little rituals, you know, having them come kick my ass while they watch. And, um, then they'd also, you know, do the electronic weapons on me and, and freak me the fuck out even more and, and try and rape me and scare me out of my own bed. And I, I wouldn't be able to sleep in my own bed. And I go running outside scared to death. And one time they did these things where it was like gas, like I couldn't even breathe. There was these different gas, like, and it felt like there's gas. I know this was like probably the devil, but devil though but there are literally like different smells I would smell and then it, it it would just put me into like it would just freak me the fuck out different smells I'm not even kidding like different smells would make me freak out 
a different way. You know what I mean? It was all these different smells. And one time I got sprayed in the back with water and no one was there. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know. I've been through so much shit and I've been photobombed by the devil. I've taken selfies with the devil right next to me. You know what I mean? Like, and he had an S on his forehead. And like right now I got shit on my legs and I got S's on my kneecaps. And I'm like, oh, the Illuminati with their fucking, um, you know, little eye on the pyramid capstone. You know, I'm just like, oh my God, dude. Like, seriously, like, and now I'm thinking like all this shit with Fatal, like, it's making me think twice that he, maybe he did fake it too. You know what I mean? Because I know Pac faked it. And so now I'm thinking like, okay, so if Fatal didn't fake it, then I'm really like getting my ass kicked by the devil right now. On top of all the other targeted individual shit. And like the stuff that I seen, the video he dropped, and the album he just dropped, you know, it's making me think twice that he isn't even dead. I'm like, because, you know, it sounds crazy for people to even say Pot faked it. And, and now I know for a fact that he did. And now I'm thinking like, oh my God, well, if Fatal didn't, then I'm really getting my ass kicked. Like literally those S's on my kneecaps are literally from the devil. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, oh my God, now I'm really scared to go to sleep. Really? Like I, I felt safer, you know, knowing, you know, Fatal, like Superman or whatever, you know, that was protecting me or whatever. Um, now I'm really freaked out. You know, I got shit written all over my body with S's all over my body. You know what I mean? Like, and eyes all over my body. And, oh my God, dude. I'm just like, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna, you know, I can't think about that. When I go to sleep, I can feel shit touching my face. I could feel, you know, like them, like the targeted individual stuff. I could feel them blasting my face. You know, they, they blast my third eye, make me go to sleep when I'm working. You know, they, you know, so when I go to sleep, I gotta... Oh my God, I can't even lay the way I want to lay because they rape me so bad. I lay on my stomach and like I put my like leg up. I don't know, I have one leg straight and one leg, like one leg, like knee all the way up to my chest. I don't know, that's just how I've slept since I was a little girl. I don't know if that makes sense, but one leg's up, one leg's back and I'm on my stomach. That's how I've slept since I was a little girl. And now I can't because they rape me to sleep. They rape me, you know, 24 seven. And so then I gotta, you know, lay on my side and try and lay, you know, the best way I can so that I don't feel the rape, but they, it doesn't matter. They rape me 24 seven with technology. So, yeah. So I got to go to sleep like that every night and I got to work Monday through Friday. And guess what? You don't even want to know how much I, I get $13 an hour. You guys in California that, you know, that is so embarrassing to even say that. Like I, I can't, I don't know what to do. I can't live like this anymore. I don't know what to do. And I like my job and I just don't know what to do. I got no money, you guys. I'm just like, what the fuck? And I'm getting tortured. Nobody gives a fuck. All you motherfuckers are like, oh my God. You know, somebody needs to do something. Pot, I need your help. You know, this isn't a game, you know. Whatever, dude. <laughs> whatever. Um, whatever, you guys. You and, you know, all your money. <laughs> you know, you know, put it in everybody's face. How much money you got? I ain't even materialistic. I could give a fuck. I, don't, I never go shopping. I, I don't even care if I go shopping. I just want what I need. I Or I just get what I need and that's it, you know? I don't give a shit about that shit. I haven't had a laptop in years, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm not materialistic at all. I've been supporting myself for like 10 years now. Um, pretty much like I, I had a boyfriend from Australia, but, um, he moved out here for me and like we were engaged, but I think he, he just, uh, we just got engaged because I think he just wanted to get to Cali. I think that's the reason he was a horn dog. I mean, he wasn't awake. That was when I wasn't even awake. So, you know, whatever. Cool. Um, okay. I'm done talking. Somebody needs to do something like for real. I need money. I need help, dude. I'm in California. I don't know what to do. Like, I can barely buy food without having a coroner. You know what I mean? Like, I, I pay my rent. I pay my bills. And that's it. And I got nothing else. You know what I mean? That That's the truth. Gas, you know. <laughs> and that's it. Like, 
I am getting so taken advantage over that it is the sickest thing. Oh my God, they have it made so bad, you know, and I just take it and it's family and, you know, I'm working for family and so I'm a targeted individual and so I know, like, because I work for family, it's laid back, it's at my aunt's and, um, it's, you know, it's the best place for me right now because if I'm out in public getting tortured by what they're doing to me, I would not be able to do it. So I just got to take the punches and take the low wages and just deal with it, you know, like. I can't do this out in public like this. No way. Like, I wouldn't be able to, you know. So, it, it really is the best place for me, but I'm broke, you know. I don't know what to do. I've been there three years, and I have, you know, they barely, you know, they just take advantage of me. <laughs> and I know you're listening. I know you guys are listening. Y'all think I'm a crazy bitch, right? And I know you listen and pretend like you didn't and play dumb. I know you do. Um... <laughs> I'm sitting there and you know I'm getting tortured and you make me do all your work. Whatever. <laughs> get all the money, you know. Get more accounts, get more money. But me? No. Not me. <laughs> you get to milk me by. You know every bill I pay. You know everything that I do. And you make sure I got, you know, just milk me by. Whatever. I'm done. Like, I don't know what to do, you guys, because I, I don't think I could get a job out in the public like this. You know what I mean? Like, I got a desk job right now, and I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to do it because I'm getting raped 24-7, mind, body, soul rape. I don't think I could be able to do it in public because it's just, it's, yeah. So, I guess this is the best place for me, so I just get to be a little broke girl 24-7 in California. It's great. It's fucking great. I can't even remember the last time I went shopping. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not materialistic at all. You know, I got clothes. I got what I need. I do need some shoes. But other than that, like, I got what I need, you know. And I, you know, I'm used to it. Like, I'm fine. I have clothes, you know. But, um, like, I don't even care if I go shopping. But, like, it would be nice to just be relaxed a little bit and not be so stressed out. And, like, I am so, like, you added up what I told you what I make. You know what I mean? Oh my god. I got like 200 to last me a month. I'm not even kidding after all my bills and rent. Oh my god. It's horrible. I don't know what to do. I can't live like this. Somebody needs to step up. You guys are like, oh my god. Never mind. I know. Like, you guys, really? This is so embarrassing for me to even come out here like this. People think I'm crazy. People think I'm a loser. You know, whatever. I just lay it all on the table. They're like, oh, see, I told you, fool. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh my god, you guys. Laying this all out on the table? <laughs> oh my god, saying I got a voice of skull and all that. Oh my god, people that are sheep, that <laughs> everybody is just like, that bitch is crazy. Well, thanks a lot, everybody. You know, I ain't a crazy bitch whatsoever. Um, you can think it if you want. Whatever. You're not awake yet. Whatever. All right, I'm done talking. All right. Love you guys. Wish somebody would uh, get out of the fifth. You know. All right, bye. Love you.